Listen, I got a bad one. Hey, I got a bad one. What? This is Doc Karen with another Insomnia movie review. And if I look deadbeat tired, it's because I am tired after watching these movies. The way that I wish I could get those hours of my life back. Child? I know I'm looking crazy because this just had me just shook all the way from the first one through the third one. But let me just tell you real quick. What I will say is, let me first say, viewer discretion is advised. There is quite a bit of violence in these movies, okay? It is a psycho thriller. And the only thing I will say about this is that, you know, the acting was okay. You know, the plots were alright. But it just was a lot. I don't know. This has me so drained. I just, I don't even understand why I'm feeling so drained right now. I would just say one thing, though. Erica, Jasmine, Mena, okay, Samuels, before her divorce. This had me tripping more than the controversy behind her divorce with Safari. Now, if y'all don't know, Erica Mena has been very controversial lately. She is on Love and Hip Hop, or she was on Love and Hip Hop. Miami, I believe, and um, actually it wasn't Miami, it was Atlanta, and she got married to Safari, who is the ex-boyfriend of Nicki Minaj, and long story short, she was recently in this huge controversy because she got into an argument with uh, another performer named Spice and referred to that beautiful black queen as a monkey yes she called her a monkey so I didn't want to watch this movie in the first place because I was just really just turned about that you know it's it's unfortunate because she actually was probably one of the best actors in this movie she really knows how to act and she played a psychopath exceptionally well which is kind of scary but the lesson learned here is, uh, you know what, next time I probably won't watch a movie with the actress who's referring to other black people as monkeys. And that's on period. <laughs> that is the lesson learned. Um, save your time. Five out of ten.